Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and I'm standing outside the very first commercial property I ever bought. So um, we'll talk about this property, how I bought it, um, what we've used it for the last few years or so, and what our plans are for the future on it. Really cool property. Um, I've really enjoyed owning it, and now we have some new plans for it that hopefully will make us some more money, and um, we'll, we'll talk about all of that. Now, of course, check out InvestForMore.com for much more information on our flips, rentals, being an agent, all that great stuff. We have a free book on there, and let's take a look at this property. So this is just one unit in kind of a large complex of commercial um, condo properties. You can see there's a bunch more down there, a lot of them over here. And a friend of mine owned this, and back in 2016, he approached me and said, hey, I think I want to sell my little shop. Do you want to list it for me? Because I'm an agent, I was an agent back then. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. I think I'll come look, take a look at it. And I saw it, and I said, hey, um, happy to list it for you. We can put it on the market, but I'm also interested in buying it. I won't charge you a commission. What do you think about selling it to me? So um, he was intrigued by that idea. I gave him a price, he agreed, and we closed on it. So I think I paid 72,000 for this. It's a little over 900 square feet, uh, has a bathroom right there we'll show you, and very, very tall ceiling. So you could actually add a second floor if you really wanted to in here for storage. We plan to do that at some point, but we just never did, just got too busy. And it's been a really nice property to have. Um, and what we've done is we've just stored all of our building supplies here over the years for my flipping company. So I had a video talking about the compound, which is a property that has three houses and a commercial property and how the automotive place that used to rent there was kind of forced out by the city. And we took over that building for all our supplies. So we have more room over there, uh, works out better for zoning. And we moved everything there, almost everything. You can see we have a few things left. And that leaves this place um, vacant because this is what we used this place for was storing all our stuff. I had my Mustang in here for a while too, an extra car. So it's just been really handy. Now, over the years, we probably could have rented it out. He rented it out for a while to a car place and um, that fixed up cars a little bit. And so that's our plan now is to turn it back into a rental property. So we're trying to get it just cleaned out a little bit. This is all our stuff. We need to move this stuff over here too. And ironically, this stuff came from a rental property where I rented to a, a traffic control company. So one of those companies that tells people, you know, not to drive through construction zones too fast and has all the signs out. I always kind of assumed the city or state had their own people who did that, but actually they usually hire other companies that do it. And so those guys were renting my building. We had to evict them. A lot of crazy drama going on there has happened a few years ago. But in the process, they left us a lot of their cones and stuff. So we have a lot of those and they've actually come in pretty handy. Uh, for different situations where we've had to block off parking or make room for dumpsters or do different stuff. So it's actually been pretty helpful having all these. And then, yeah, we still have a ladder and some shelving that we kept stuff on that we need to get out of here as well and move over to the other shop. And then we can get this one rented. But yeah, this has the nice, super bright lights, overhead heating, a garage door, has an automatic opener, huge door, so it's really a nice shop. And I'm thinking we can probably rent this for rah, 12 to 1400 a month, maybe even more. I haven't really kept track of um, prices for this small shop yet or looked yet, but we should be able to rent this out and add to my monthly passive cash flow number that I've been working on this year. And yes, it does have a little tiny bathroom that is pretty dirty, so we need to get that cleaned up here still too. Um, but um, yeah, so the plan is rent this out, add this to the rental portfolio, and keep the property. And it's probably worth, oh, 130 to $150,000 now, just because the market has gone so up so much for commercial properties. Um, I thought I made a pretty fair offer when I first bought it. I wasn't trying to rip off my friend or anything. I thought that was pretty close to market value. Once you consider he wasn't paying commissions um, to me to sell it to me, and um, prices for this type of unit have really gone up because people love having these small shop areas and there's just almost none of them available anywhere. So I know there's one that just came up for sale in another complex, it was 1200 square feet and they're asking like 250,000 for that. 
That seemed a little high to me, but um, this is definitely worth um, quite a bit more than we paid for it. All right, so that's the quick video for today. We'll try and get this cleaned up just a little bit more, get it rented out, add that to our rental portfolio, and then we'll just have our, all our stuff and supplies at the other building at the compound. All right, thanks for watching. I have a ton more information on investformore.com, like I said, and I'll be back with many more videos coming up here on our Flips Rentals um, advice videos as well. Take care.